everybody it's Titanic Fee Jack and I'm back again before we get into today's video I need a couple of things I need you to hit that like button on today's video I need you to leave a comment in the comment section let me know your thoughts on today's video and your thoughts on the sneaker we're about to look at today and if you haven't already sub up to the channel and do hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time I come back with another video now today we here with an early review. This sneaker is set to release April the 1st. Uh, it's not a lot of buzz about it. We're just gonna get right into it. Here we go, we have the uh, box. You do see a black top, white jaw jump man in the middle, air jaw and blue or uh, university blue block letters. They have a gray bottom, you know it's either Jordan, what? 11, 7 come in this box. Give you a look at that box tag. I'm gonna go ahead and read it. It says Aaron Jordan 11 Retro Low, color white, university blue. This is a size 11. And the retail price on these are, it's gonna be like 185 US dollars. As I take off the box top, look inside. There's no lot stamp inside of here. And here's your paper on here. You got a, uh, you got some blocks on the paper, which reminds me of the block that is on the carbon fiber of these. It's kind of smooth on that side, a little rough on the other. And you do see that green and white YCM sticker in the box. That is everything that comes with this sneaker. So without further ado, without further ado, excuse me, let's get into the shoe. Here we go guys, we have the Air Jordan Retro 11 Low, the white cement gray, I believe is what they're calling them. So let me know your thoughts on this sneaker. Me, personally, it's a nice little sneaker for the summer, but I will not be getting this for the collection. I will not be getting a pair for the toe. So I won't have an on feet review for you guys, but let's get into it. You have an all white mesh upper, and you do have your, uh, your six uh, lace hoops going on. They're stitched down, and you do have a, a cool gray patent leather on your mud guard. Also, let's get to the midsole. We have a five iron midsole, a white colorway right here, and you do have translucent with that icy blue at the very bottom of your midsole, which leads to the outsole. You do have that icy blue translucent material on your outsole, accompanied by some cool great herringbone traction on here at the uh, forefoot and the heel of the sneaker. You do have a jaw jump man underneath. Let's go to the heel of the sneaker. Starting from the top, you do have number 23 on here in white and you do have a stitched on Jordan jump man right here in a university blue colorway you do have some white leather going around here the ankle as well it's a little stiff a little hard and you do have more of that cool great patent leather going around your heel which is going to take us to the medial side of the sneaker more of that cool gray patent leather goes all the way around the sneaker and is entirely on the mud guard to route the heel and the sides you do have more of that white mesh on your upper and you got your six eyelets that's stitched on in the white colorway you got that five line midsole again in the white colorway and you do have that icy blue translucent hit on the bottom of the midsole and you do have that carbon fiber right here the blocks on the carbon fiber looks just like the blocks that's on the paper that came in the box and you do have that university blue and black hit on that carbon fiber here's a good look at the toe box good look at that patent leather it's a Jordan 11 11 low nice little I guess a little cool sneaker for the summer comment below let me know if you're gonna rock these will you be picking these up April the 1st you do have a mesh tongue white tongue and you got your jaw jump man woven patch right here and that's in white lettering and you have a university blue Jordan jump man the uh, woven patch is uh, cool gray nothing to the top of the tongue you do have a cool gray sock liner and let's look behind the tongue 
you do have an, another woven patch on here. You see that? You got that message on here. It probably says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. And you have a University of Blue Jaw Jumpman on here. And can I get a good look at that sizing tag? Give you guys a look at the sizing tag. I'm going to try to read it to you. It is a U.S. size 11. And the production date is August the 3rd of 2022 to October 13th, 2022. So uh, a little over two months of production with these. And it does come stuffed with some tissue. And you also have your insert. You have a University Blue insert. White jaw jump man on here, size 11 sticker. And look on the back. It's a little different. It's not that uh, the previous one we had. I forgot what it was. But I just remember it was black on the bottom. So that's pretty much it with the sneaker. Uh, uh, the fit on these, I recommend going a size up or a half a size up getting these because the levels tend to run tight in my opinion so i will go a half a size up if you're if that's available but for me a 14 and a half is not available so i would have to go to a 15 so do size up in these if you don't want them to fit exact but i expect these sneakers to sit they won't be uh going for much on the resale market a low top 11 they really don't go for a lot of money on the resale market. So if you do the leg work, you should be able to get this sneaker with ease. So comment below, let me know what you're gonna do April the 1st, but this is a early look at the sneaker. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feed Jack, signing out.